I grew up in a somewhat Christian family. Not really devout or anything like that. You know, we weren't going to church all the time. There was a lot of drugs in the household. Every weekend, you know, it was partying and drinking, and sometimes in the midnight, police would come. I would say it was, it was a dysfunctional home. And my grandmother was the one who really raised me, taught me about God, about Jesus, and she was always there for me. Going to school, you know, second, third grade, first grade, those years I was pretty rebellious. Around like 12 years old, I started to get more of a friend group. We started skateboarding and that was like the new thing. I smoked weed for the first time and drank for the first time. And music became my obsession. You know, at 10 years old is when I started. And I was obsessed with getting into Hollywood, being famous. You know, I went into college and I was studying music business. And I ended up dropping out kind of lost in the club lifestyle and the party lifestyle, you know, just trying to, to get a, a foothold on a music career. I started to feel bad drinking. I started to feel bad smoking. And I wasn't finding any real fulfillment. And so I was trying to find something that was better than what I had. And so at 21 years old, I had a lot of interactions with, with people who were involved in the occult. And I, I got introduced into Eastern meditation and getting into meditative stances and, and going into trances. You know, I would wake up in the middle of the night hearing knocks on my windows, hearing chants. I would wake up in the middle of the night like if my house was being surrounded. So I walked out of my household and just left everything behind. I just kept on walking for at least three days. And then I end up falling asleep out in the wilderness and end up getting picked up by police officers and. They ended up taking me to a hospital and force feeding me drugs. Something told me that if I continue this way, that I was going to, to lose my life. And I believe it was the voice of Christ. I kneeled down and asked God to deliver me from the side effects of the drugs because the side effects were really, really bad. And so I went to the church looking for help. They had introduced me into Amazing Facts. So I watched Mountain Moving Faith from Doug Batchelor. And I remember hearing Doug say, have you ever seen a mountain move in one second? Sometimes it may take a moment, but once it moves, then it'll be like it was an instant. And so I end up falling to my knees every time I get the side effects of the drugs. I would pray and I would find peace and comfort. And where I would spend a lot of my time would be in the Bible. And I started to change. One week passed by and the side effects weren't so bad. Two weeks passed by, I was almost back to normal. Every Sabbath I would put on, you know, sermon. I listen to Bible Answers Live. Also, historicals of prophecy was another thing that was helping me through. When I was hearing the words of God, you know, when I was hearing the words of truth, when I was hearing the Bible, I had peace, you know, and even despite whatever, you know, trials might come my way, I still have joy. My name is Jose. Thank you for changing my life.